Hello, this is Frosty with Extend.com, a WordPress plugin marketplace. Today I'm going to walk you through our plugin, Hide Content and Catch Email Pro. First, let's head over to Extend.com slash plugins, where you'll find the Hide Content and Catch Email Pro. Once you purchase it and download it, we're going to go ahead and install and activate. Current version is 1.0.3 and it was last updated on the 2nd of December. Go ahead and go over to your website. In this case, I'm on a local development server. We'll go to install plugins and if you have not already installed it, please add new, go ahead and upload it, and then activate. Let's scroll down to hide and catch emails and activate it. This plugin will allow you to hide any content on any post type. So for right now, I'm just going to go over and hide content on one of our pages. I've already created a page called hide and catch. And in that page, I pasted a bunch of dummy text. Five paragraphs, six paragraphs worth. If we view the page right now, you'll see it's just regular text with comment form. And if we were to view this page, while being logged out. We'll see the same thing. But this page is pretty important and I don't just want any random visitors uh, seeing it without collecting some information. So in the admin of that page, you'll see a meta box called hide and catch email settings. So you want to activate it by checking this box, the minimum user capability, and some content for the text. In this case, please enter your email to obtain the content info of this page. Let's go ahead and update it. So here's the website again, where we're not logged in. I'll refresh it, and you notice that here's our content. Now there's an input box that says your full name, your email, and your comments. And whether you would like to send a copy of this email to yourself. All right, let's check this out. Today my name will be Jack Frost. I'll use my email and some comments. Uh, I do not want to send a copy to myself, and I'll click Submit. All within Ajax, it's submitting and sending the email. Once that email has been sent, the form will disappear and a new form will show up saying, enter the key you received in the email. Oh, well, let me head over to my email. So here's a new email from WordPress that says, Dear Frosty, you recently viewed a post on the website, which is wp.dev. If this is correct, please copy and paste the following key into the form. So I'm going to copy this key. And just for testing purposes, I'm going to type in bad key and try to submit the form. And I'm going to get an error that says invalid key and nothing's going to happen. Well, let me try something else. Good key. And I'm still going to get an invalid key. Well, let's paste in the key we got from the email and click submit. Oh, and you'll notice that with Ajax, the form is loaded, 
and the original content is now here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now as administrator, you can go into the page of the hide and catch or any page or post that you have this activated and you notice another meta box shows up and it says hide and catch email submissions the name of the person Jack Frost their email the message they left and then the key that was generated on multiple times you could you'll see a lot of input fields here so if this post gets popular it'll drop down and if you're just doing some testing purposes you can go ahead and check delete and update the page and this single submission will be deleted from the, from the meta box. Now what if uh, the user is just viewing the post, they leave, they go to a few more browsers and for some reason they come back at another date. So I close that page and they want to come back and click on it again. Luckily, we save their information via a cookie and the content will load back with the message, welcome back, Jack Frosty, and then the original message. At the current time, uh, the cookie is saved for, I believe, three months, uh, at which time you could delete the cookie or change some information and force them to resubmit the field to see the content again. This is the hide and catch email plugin from extend.com. Remember, when you purchase it, you'll receive an API key, and you can head over to settings.extend settings, find your hide and catch email pro tab, and enter your license key, save those changes and you'll receive automatic WordPress updates as I find bugs or new versions come out. Thanks for watching.